Hello all, my name is Rahul and welcome to this session on Java language. In this video, we will see how to write first Java program in editors. So let's get started. So to write your first program or Java program, we have got two options. Either you can write your code in non ID editor like Notepad or Edit Plus or Notepad++. So this Notepad, uh, it's a text document which comes by default in Windows operating system. And we have another tool is ID editors. So these all are, you know, NetBeans and Eclipse. These all are intelligent tools where you don't have to write each and every line, each and every statement everything you get as a suggestion and you just have to you know uh, click on enter to, to write uh, that thing in editor so that we will see in next lecture so the advantage of using uh, you know non id editor for the newbies uh, guys is if you write your first program in uh, you know id tools then definitely you will not be able to remember all the declarations it could be class declaration or it could be main method declaration or variable declaration. So just to get the good hands on, we always recommend to start with non IDE tools. And after that, you can go and proceed uh, with the, uh, you know, IDE editor tools like NetBeans and Eclipse. So let's see how we can write a first program in non IDE editor. So I will be using, uh, uh, you know, uh, the default one uh, that is text document notepad so for that you just have to do right click and you just have to open up the text document so i have opened it now to write program uh, let me first write my code over here and after that i'll explain everything so class is a keyword and i'll just say my program name as sample i'll open up the parenthesis and here i'll just say public static void main and here i'll just say string and this should be of array type args now again i'll close it i'll open and close this main method declaration as well and after that i'll just write the logic over here so my logic is to print the so or hello java so i'll just say hello java over here and i'll just terminate the statement by just putting the semicolon at the end of print statement so this is how we write uh, the first program. Let's understand the meaning of each and every line. So here class is a keyword and sample is an identifier. Okay. So if we combine this together, then keyword plus identifier keyword, we are using class over here and identifier. It gives you what class declaration, right? And if you if you uh, if you have written class declaration over here then we always use parenthesis and this is what we call beginning of class or you can say opening of class declaration right opening of class declaration and this is what we call closing of class declaration or ending of class declaration okay now uh, if you see a uh, public static main method so always uh, if you want to write your variable if you want to declare variable or if you want to declare the main method we always declare main methods or normal methods or variable inside the class so here you can see inside the class i have a declaration of main method so what we call is this is the call main method declaration right and uh, this is again uh, opening of I'll say, I'll just copy the same thing and I'll just say here, opening of main method, main method declaration. And uh, here I'll just say, uh, this, should, this would be closing of main method declaration, right? Okay. So we have class declaration. We also have main method declaration. Now inside it, we always define the logic which you want to print in the console section or in the command prompt. Now let's, uh, let's understand the meaning of main method over here. So public, why we use public here? Public is to enable the visibility. So if you want to enable the visibility of your main method, we always use what? Public as an access, uh, access specifier. So these are all things we will be seeing in coming lectures, right? So for now you can just understand 
to enable the visibility we use public as a keyword in the main method declaration next thing is we have static it is a uh, you know modifiers in java language right what it does is if you if you use static so we have two we have got two advantages of using static uh, static as a keyword in main method declaration first one is no need to create any object <clears throat> no need to create any object so this all things again we will understand in next coming lecture what is the use of object why we uh, create object in java language everything we will understand in coming lectures so here you don't have to create any object this is the first advantage it means anywhere you can easily access this main method right second advantage of using static as a main method declaration is you it does not it does not consume any of the space so this is the very important advantage of using static as a uh, you know static as a keyword in main method declaration now if you talk about may, uh, void so void is a return type it's a, again it's a keyword and we call it as return type so main method will never ever return any value that's why we use void over here void means you can understand like null or nothing main so this is again in an inbuilt which comes by default and this is a syntax so the name of this is method name we always use main if you don't use main if you just say style over here or something different then your program will not be able to execute and come uh, run and you will not get your uh, you know uh, output in the command prompt or console section so we always use main as an uh, as a as a method name in main method declaration we have a string so this all together we call it as command arguments so here we always use in main method declaration we always use string which is of array type and arguments here you can enter anything so this is an optional so if you want to pass your own name that can also be done and later on if you want to get the length of this argument that can also be do so everything you know we will do the experiment uh, with the each and every uh, thing of class and we'll understand each and everything in next coming lecture so for now i'll just say args over here and after that this is so this all things you know uh, uh, this all things we say main method declaration and after that we have something called opening of main method declaration inside this we write our logic it could be your print statement or anything which you want to write everything will go here and you can start executing the code so as soon as you write the code what we do is we just save our code and this code you will have to save as the name of the class so my class name is sample so the file name should also be sample now to save this program you will have to write the class name so my class name is sample and after that you will have to use extension as java and all together the file name would be sample.java it means the file name should always be equal to your class name so here you can see sample and this is also sample an extension you will have to use dot java over here now what i'll do is i'll create a folder i'll create java tutorial i'll just create one folder over here so that i can store uh, my all program in this folder itself and i'll just open it and inside this i'll just save my first program and the program has been saved successfully now if you go inside it so you will be able to see the sample dot java program now in order to compile the code what we do is we just go to that particular location you just have to go to that folder and you just have to uh, click on it and you just have to say cmd and click on ok it will automatically take you to your work directory or the java tutorial directory and from here you can start writing your code second option would be you just have to open up the command prompt so let me just quickly open the command prompt and after that you just have to go to that location where this folder is this is the path of my program right so you can see c users and asus are but our program is in onedrive desktop and java tutorial so you just have to copy this path go here and just say cd cd is to change directory and copy and you just have to enter it as soon as you enter it will automatically take you there 
and from here you can start executing your program so to execute your program what we do is we always write like java c and program name your class name dot java so this is the syntax to compile your code in command prompt so i have written it i'll just cut this and i'll just paste it over here and you just have to enter as soon as you click on enter if there is any error in your program it will automatically give you an error saying that this is the error i have got while compiling the code since we have not got any error so if you go to your repository java tutorial here you will see you will automatically get the dot class file and this dot class file is nothing but it is byte code once you have the byte code let's say i have configured i have got this byte code in windows operating system and i want to execute this on let's say uh, in linux machine or mac operating system you just have to copy it and you just have to paste in mac operating system in a particular folder open up the terminal and you just have to execute it by using a command called java class name once you say java class name your program will get executed and you will get your desired output in the terminal right and if you if you remember in the third lecture uh, we have already discussed about this the architecture of java so once you compile we have compiled the code using the java c class name dot java once you compile it it gives you the dot class file and that is nothing but byte code once you have the byte code jvm what it does is always your controller controller will always start executing from the main method so once you write the code and try to execute it controller will come here your jvm will come here and it will start executing everything from this section right so what i'll do is to execute the code you just have to say java and you just have to say class name so class name is sample right and once you click on enter you will get an output as hello java over here so this was the thing this was the print statement we have used inside the class inside the main method and that's why we got this output over here in the command prompt so this is very easy to write the code uh, guys if you start practicing this you will get a very good hands on on this and you can start writing your own code with your own implementation now to give you more clarification on it what happens is as soon as you write this right as soon as you write java sample so this is execution statement or interpretation uh, statement java sample right java and this is your class name so as soon as you say java sample your controller will come and stay over here this is your controller right so execution so compilation has been done and compiler has not given any error it means your program is ready for the interpret now java controller will come here and it will go inside this and it will check okay system dot out dot print ln so jvm will get to know okay this is a print statement now inside this whatever user or programmer has mentioned we will have to retrieve that in a command prompt or in a console section so what we have written here we have written hello java so in your command prompt you will automatically or jvm will give you an output as hello java over here if you do any mistake let's say i'll just say here i'll just remove this semicolon so earlier it was uh, we have terminated it using the semicolon now i'm going to remove it and i'll just save this code so just to save it you just have to click on file and click on save now once you do any changes in your code again you will have to recompile so to recompile what you can do is from your keyboard uh, you just have to use the uh, up arrow key and you will get uh, the previous uh, you know statements which you have uh, executed in command prompt so java sample dot java once you click on enter here you can see sample java 5 now in line 5 so here you can see this is line 1 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 so in this line we have got some error and what is the error it says it says colon semicolon is expected where it is expected after the end of print ln statement says system dot out dot print ln and we have we have missed that right so once you write this semicolon over here again if you just save the code 
and if you recompile your code you won't get any error and your program will start executing and you will get your desired output in this section so this is how you get your output in command prompt so uh, this is all about this program guys uh, if you need any clarification in any line uh, you can just let me know in the uh, comment section and again we'll help you in resolving that thank you for watching and this document uh, if you want me to add this document i'll add this document in the description panel if you want you can just go and download it and you can start using uh, you can start writing your first program with the different implementation so i have written hello java you can write anything else over here and you can start uh, executing that and make sure before configuring or before writing your code make sure java is already configured in your windows operating system if you don't know how to configure in windows mac or linux please go and visit uh, the lecture 3 video in that i have mentioned everything if you want me to add i will add that in uh, this description panel uh, description box as you can go and you can just click on link to uh, watch the lecture 3 thank you uh, guys if you like this video please do like share and subscribe this thank you for watching stay safe stay healthy bye bye